Hello and welcome to the third and final tutorial video on how to build your own grow tent from one of our basic kits. This is brought to you by the Chesterfield Hydroponic Centre in Chesterfield in Derbyshire. So, final thing, you've built your grow tent, you've put your extract ducting in, the next thing is to install your actual grow lights. Now as you can see here, we're using a basic reflector, a grow lux bulb, a timer, and the ballast to operate your lamps. We've also got the light hanging brackets, which will are fully adjustable and will help you suspend your light at various heights to aid in the various growth cycles of the plant. Now the one thing we didn't do in the last video was fit the inlet duct in. So all we're going to do is drop a flexible inlet duct through the inlet hole at the back of the tent this has then got a adjustable collar that fits around it, neatens it up, tidies it up and makes sure everything's secure. That can then be piped in and away you go. So the clean air comes in the bottom, the dirty air goes through the carbon filter at the top. So on the hanging rails in the roof, that's where we're going to secure our grow light to. So using the adjustable hangers, these will simply loop up and over the framework, put it over both the cross members on each side of the framework so that you've got uh, the X and Y planes, so that you've got a double rail to hang it to. That just makes it a little bit more stable and a little bit more secure. Now these brackets are fully adjustable, so once they're clipped onto your light unit, you can move them up and down. And, it, and you can adjust the light accordingly to the various grow heights of the plants and the crops that you're growing. So there we go, simply tie over and secure them, adjust them to the right height or a comfortable height for fitting your lamp and your reflector. We're now ready to hang your reflector on there. Now as you say this is a basic reflector, comes fitted with a straight lamp the lead will then go directly into the ballast and it's a simple plug and play. On the back of the reflector there are two hanging brackets. These just need pulling out at right angles to your reflector so that you can clip the hooks directly into them. So all you'll need for that is just a simple flat bladed screwdriver or a pair of pliers or something similar. So as you can see, drop your screwdriver in, fold them up, they will then hook directly onto your hanging brackets and you can then adjust the height up and down. The cable for your light will then just go straight through your flex outlet and as you can see from this one, John's made the foolish mistake of putting the light the wrong way around so that the flex is at the opposite end to the flex outlet on this particular tent. But hey, everybody's allowed to make a mistake every now and then. He was hoping we'd edit that bit out. But we chose not to. So drop your flex directly through your outlet, hang your light up and adjust it to a comfortable height just for working on for you guys. So once the flex has gone through that, again it's a simple pull tight collar on there just to stop any uh, odours 
or unclean air going out through that hole. The extra lengths of cable can then just be tied up and hung out of the way so that they don't sit on the reflector lamp and don't get too hot. In this case we've just left them down for now so that we can adjust it. But once the lamp's fitted, once you've got it to height, just neatly tie them up so they're out of the way. So the next thing here is your basic timer. Now there are different types of um, timer plugs and you need to make sure that the one you've got will fit and will suit the type of lighting because some of the timers out on the market, especially the cheap ones, don't like this form of lighting and may possibly burn out. So please speak to an expert or give us a call um, and we'll guide you through the process and let you know which particular timer plugs are suitable for your ballast system. So that's it, your light plugs into your ballast, your ballast plugs into your timer, timer straight into the mains, no need for any wiring skills, it's all plug and play. The lamp then screws directly into the reflector. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. You don't want it overheating. You don't want it arcing out. Word of advice, once it's fitted, get a, a, a sterile wipe and just clean the lamp over. Get rid of any grease on there so that the grease doesn't make the lamp overheat during, uh, during use. And that's it. That's your light rail fitted. Simple as that. It's now fully adjustable, ready to plug in, ready to help you grow. So, a quick look over the finished grow tent. And there we have it. Once a very, very simple one meter by one meter by two meters high grow tent. You've got your carbon filter, your extract ducting, all fitted in. You've got your adjustable brackets that are then holding your light reflector using a grow lux bulb, which then plugs into your timer outside so you can operate as and when you want it to. Everything's there, everything works, everything's nice and simple. On the roof, we've got your extract fan. Again, note the direction of the extract fan to make sure that the flow is going through the carbon filter and out of the tent. In the base, we've got the inlet for your air. You're now ready to plug in, start potting up and start growing. I hope this has been useful for you. I hope you found it informative. Please give us any feedback you can through either Facebook or Twitter or on our website, www.chestfieldhydroponics.co.uk at Chestfield Hydro on Twitter and Chestfield Hydroponics on Facebook. If you've got any questions, please give us a call 01246 260874. Drop us an email, hydro at reconelectrical.co.uk or drop into our shop in Chesterfield. Thank you.